There we go, guys. It looks pretty good. So you can see it's white and fluffy now. really hard. Stomp out there. <laughs> it is dry and cold in Wyoming right now and I can really feel it in my skin, especially my hands. They're dry and parched and cracked feeling. So I'm going to whip up a batch of my whipped body butter. This is one of my favorite things to make this time of year and if you want to come along I'll show you how I do it. I'm just working on gathering up the ingredients. I like this recipe because it's just a few simple things. It's nothing really extravagant or hard to find and it's easy to throw together in less than an hour. Just a quick ingredient walkthrough. I like to use Expeller Press coconut oil. It's the stuff that doesn't smell like coconut, so it's a little more refined. I just don't want that scent to overpower the rest of the body butter. I use some cocoa butter, and this is probably not the most inexpensive way to buy it in this little tub, but that's what I have, so that's what I'm using. Shea butter. Some sort of liquid vegetable oil. I like to use an almond oil or a fractionated coconut oil. So this is a coconut oil that stays liquid all the time. It really doesn't matter as long as it's some sort of skin friendly fatty carrier oil that is liquid. And then it's optional, but I like to add a few drops of essential oil to this recipe. I especially like peppermint when I use a cocoa butter because it's mint chocolate and who doesn't love that? So once you have your ingredients gathered, this is really easy to throw together. You're just gonna take a quarter cup of each of the oils. Now, full disclosure, I rarely actually melt and then measure the solid oils. I usually just kinda of chunk them into the measuring cup and eyeball it. This does not have to be an exact science, so please don't overthink the measuring, just close counts. So we have a quarter cup of coconut oil, a quarter cup of shea butter, a quarter cup of cocoa butter, and if you don't have cocoa butter, then you can just use an additional quarter cup of shea butter. It won't smell like chocolate, but it'll still be a really nice cream. And a quarter cup of liquid oil, coconut oil, almond oil, apricot oil, whatever you want. So as we have all four oils into some sort of cup, we just need to melt it. So I don't like to use a microwave for this. So what my trick is, is that I put these oils in some sort of oven safe container like this Pyrex measuring cup. And then I just put it in a saucepan full of water and then simmer it gently just until the oils melt. It usually takes a few minutes, but it's much more consistent than trying to melt this in a microwave. The coconut oil will melt the fastest and then the cocoa butter will be the last, but just keep kind of stirring it and moving it around. I'd say it should be done in less than five minutes. Okay, so once it melts, now we just need it to set up again. Crazy, right? So you can do this by letting it sit out on the counter, but it can take quite a while depending on the temperature of your house. So I like to stick mine in the fridge or the freezer. Now caveat, if you stick it in the freezer and you walk away for the day and forget about it, it's going to be rock hard and you're gonna to have to melt it down again in order to whip it. So set a timer. I find that it takes anywhere from 30 to 50 minutes in the freezer before it's ready to whip. And let me show you what it looks like. Mine's just about ready. Okay, this has been in the freezer for about 40 minutes. It's just about right. You can see it's opaque. It's set up, it's not liquid anymore, but it's not completely hard. If it's completely hard, you've gone too far. I can still press down. It's a little bit hard on the edges, so hopefully that doesn't give me trouble. But you can see it's kind of still softened in the middle. So this is just about right. We'll see what happens. You will need some sort of mixer for this. I just use my stand mixer with a whisk attachment. Um, you could probably use a handheld mixer too. I just know that you're probably not going to have enough muscle to whip this by hand. You guys ready to see if this works? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, and if you are going to add essential oils for a scent, you're going to want to do that now. I'm going to add about eight drops of peppermint to this so I can have a peppermint chocolate. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna turn this on and let it mix for a couple minutes. We're just looking for it to turn white. It'll get fluffy as we kind of get some air beat into there. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. There we go, guys. Looks pretty good. So you can see it's white and fluffy now, and all that's left is to just put it into a pretty jar. And you can decorate it if you want, and then it's ready to use or give as gifts. So I'll use this body butter all year long, but especially in the winter time when my hands are chapped or cracking, which often happens with our dry climate. And that's it guys. Enjoy the recipe and I hope it helps your skin feel more nourished and happier this winter season.